He goes where I go, where I go, where he goes. Never in my life did I imagine him staying with me. I thought it was just a couple of weeks, maybe a month, where I had to take care of him, and off he goes into the nature. But obviously, Tintin had other ideas. About four years ago, Tintin fell down from my roof into my garden. And as you can see, there's a lot of sharp edges and branches. But he had a huge cut in his chest from falling down. So I called the, the wildlife services. And at first I backed away so the mother could come and collect him. But she came down and saw him and she left. So I took him in and I placed Tintin with her. She started to clean him and nurse him and keep him warm while I was on the phone with Vex. They gave him a very, very little chance of survival. I had to nurse him and clean his wound for about a month and a half. By the time he was healed, he didn't want to leave. So I tried to buy him a harness so I could try to lure him out of the garden a little more. And it worked, but as soon as I take off the harness, he runs straight back in terror. He likes it home, where it's safe and there's no weird sound. He loves to have battles with his teddy bears and fight along with them and tumble around with them. He has small cocoons. He usually builds them depending on temperature. So the hotter it is, the less there's inside the nest. He's very loving, very affectionate. He loves to cuddle and kisses. He's a lot of fun.